buddy. Podcast time. Podcast time. Jamie, hmm. Maddie, Rachel. We've already been through this part, so um, we had a little technical difficulty, so we're restarting. Okay. Um, Still same pet peeves. Let's, let's catch up. Let's, <laughs> Nothing's let's, changed in let's the Let's catch past everybody five up on what we missed. Rachel is allergic to water. Correct. Externally. Yep, I can drink it. She can drink water. Get all the hives when I. But if it touches her skin. Sweat. So She's every time sweat. she showers, she gets hives. And sweat too? Yeah, because it's water. So, in, it's so it's salt water. Out of your skin and irritating your skin as it's coming out of your skin. Correct. You should go to the beach with her. It's so I've much been fun. Since I was little, I, I could have made some money, I feel like. It's a rare condition. They should write a Netflix story documentary about I'm you. I'm not the only one. It does exist in the world. You know, like I feel like it's like, you know, superhero I mean superhero movie where Rachel's the bad guy and they're chasing after her and they just take the water, <laughs> water hose and spray it at her. And, and I'm like, a goner. <laughs> <laughs> I just dribble up <laughs> and break out itching. Like, and Maddie's melt. pet peeve is knees. I, I guess it's not really a pet peeve. I just don't like it. I like me. that it's, a, we're calling it a pet peeve because I really like that. I, li- I like that tag on it, okay? Maddie's pet peeve of the week is knees. People's knees. <laughs> I don't want to see your knees. Skinny knees are? Gross. They're like skeletons. Skeletons. And then fat knees are? They look like a pig. Like the, um the, I think, I don't know. I've seen it in your grandparents' refrigerator or something. Maybe like. The legs or something like mm-hmm. the fat. I don't know. It's like a circle. I don't like yeah. it. It's and, very interesting. Yeah, because I love pigs, so I just feel like they look like pig joints or something. But not I don't my know. knees, because my knees are pretty to you. I don't like anybody's knees. <laughs> <laughs> no favorites. I don't like your feet either. <laughs> my feet are gross. That's true. <laughs> all feet are gross. Are all feet gross? Yeah. All of them. Some all are feet. not. Like I what don't about know. Babies? I don't like, have. Baby feet okay, are baby feet are adorable. Yeah, yeah, some feet are not like I don't have an obsession with feet. Like yeah. I don't. They're, I don't want to look at them, but some are like really gross and some are like, okay. Yeah. They don't bother me as much, but I'm like. "Mm." Like baby feet, my mom, I don't know why this is a thing, but like whenever she would see babies for the first time, she'd unwrap them and see their feet. Yeah. Because they're adorable. So cute. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. So cute. They're so cute. But then they they Are baby (laughs) knees cute? Ooh. Oh. Baby knees. Never thought about baby's knees. Mom, what's your opinion on John DeHaven's knees? Anything on him is so cute. He's yeah. a cute little baby. Um, so my pet peeve of the week. Okay. I don't know why I'm on this pet peeve kick. I just feel like Rachel's is sneezing. sneezing. Rachel's pet peeve is sneezing. I don't like listening to people sneeze. I don't know why I'm on this pet peeve kick. Um, I don't feel like this is It this offends is, people. It what? It offends <laughs> people? I don't know. I feel like this is good therapy for me. Let's oh, okay. Get, let's just get the next people. Next people to me being frustrated. I did, you know, I did um, one of my pet peeves last week was about um, driving in the fast lane. Oh, yeah. You know, like, just get over. What are you doing? Um, my pet peeve this week is, and I, I did some research on this prior to coming up here, just to make sure that I was accurate. And I am pet peeved at... <laughs> On social media, both of you are on social media a little bit. Mm. On social media, how everything is an ad now. So true. It used to be just ads on the side. Yeah. Where like, you know, um, hey, you know, here goes your friends, but over here you could click on XYZ to go to, you know, said page. Now it's every single post is an ad. And I understand it. Like, it's, it's social media, so it should be socially us interacting with each other, but now you almost have to fight to find your friends on social media and their posts because it's getting so clogged up with ads of certain things. Yes, all almost, the time. Yeah, you almost want to avoid it because you can't just go see people. Yeah. You want to avoid just logging on sometimes. And you try to hide them. Or I, and I always like say this. it's offensive just so that it'll leave me alone. But, <laughs> but they keep report. coming back. Yeah, report. And then like yesterday, um, Sam and Olivia were eating – Factory, what are they called? Factory, factory. Meals. factor, like pre-made meals, meals like um, I guess a healthy version of a uh, something of that nature. Anyways, they're like microwavable dinners, but they were talking about it at lunch. And true story, yes, I so crazy. Hearing them talk about it opened up Instagram, and there was factory meals right there as one of, my, one of my first. That's scary. Ads on Instagram. I mean, they say they're listening all the time. Well, I am pet peeved. I don't care if they listen to me. Leave me alone. <laughs> if, no, no, if you're going to listen to me, listen to me say this. I really would like you to stop showing me ads and let me see my friends again. Yes. 
But that's how they make their money from ads. How much would it cost for me to stop doing ads and see my friends again? Meta. That's what, that's what I'm pet peeved about. Meta, you pet peeve us. I am pet peeved about that. I feel like most people are. But they yeah, don't care. Good, good. That let's, helps let's, me to connect with people. Let's start a um petition. petition. A petition. <laughs> no more ads. No more ads. <laughs> we want an ad free social media. Social media. They'll say go to the Bible app. It's your ad free social mm -hmm. media. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> yeah. You can only connect with so many people though on it. No, it's so weird. That's so dumb. There's more than 250 people, you version. You version. Open up that thing. Which I feel like is Life Church started. Life Church, yeah. Craig Rochelle, that's your boy. You're tell my. Them, tell you're, them. You're, you're my them boy. Come see us. Tell him come visit with us. Craig, Pastor Craig. Pastor Craig Rochelle. We have a suggestion. <laughs> um, we appreciate all that you do for yeah. the kingdom of God and getting the Bible out there to everybody. But <laughs> could you? Uh, maybe make so that we have a little bit more friends. I feel like if you have more friends, you can spread the gospel more. True. You can only spread so much with 250 people. I think we need to bump that up a little bit, sir. Please. And thank you. I'm great. in complete agreement with you. Yeah. If you have an agreement, let's start a petition. <laughs> We that is a pet peeve more of mine. Groups all the time. Yes. Let, me, let me tell you, I've signed petitions in my life. That is a pet peeve of Have mine. Have you ever signed a petition? Yeah. Yes. I've signed petitions. You know the one that I really remember signing? Y you weren't here yet, and you were too young to remember. We're only a year and a half. I know. <laughs> such a difference child. Difference in age. <laughs> I remember when they were going to tear down the swing bridge after they built the big one, mm. and they had, like, all of this petitions hmm. going to not tear down the swing bridge it's historic i signed that petition son and it worked it worked we saved the swing bridge we did i signed a petition one time i don't remember what it was for though i'm definitely signed a few but i can't recall i don't any. know if they ever None like of happened so important or so valuable that i, mean, I think one I was, was recent out. but it was um it... <laughs> <laughs> not something you want to throw on podcast <laughs> i can share but it's not it doesn't highlight a good quality in okay, life good. we were trying to protect a group of people that should have been protected and there was someone in the group who should not have been making immoral and unsafe choices there we Got go it. so uh you always know the right words to say i would have just said it out loud <laughs> <laughs> well you just never I don't have listening a listening i don't have a filter <laughs> <laughs> it's strange because you do have a filter do you you have a filter you have a filter i think so yeah yeah i mean i definitely override it sometimes yeah <laughs> but i have it yeah maddie maddie says she doesn't have a filter and it's it's sheerly case by case basis from how i'm feeling that day she'd be like i don't want to have a filter today and i'm just gonna let it all out oh there's my mic <laughs> oh, no, I got hang in there gotta hold on to <laughs> hang in there y'all we working on sassy man on is that a pet peeve of yours this is a pet peeve <laughs> let me tell you another pet peeve of mine i have asked for you to fix that so why don't you sit on this uh, side? How many podcasts in a row have I asked for this to get? I'm going to put it on somebody's fixed. task. I just had next week. Tony come in here and try to. Just clamp it. Don't come over here and try to <laughs> fix it now. I don't want to see it. You did that last time, buddy, and it didn't work. I mean, they say duct tape solves everything. There is no great angle right now. Your butt is in one. <laughs> You're... She's on that one. Oh, I f still feel like you're. <laughs> It's all right. I got it. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. You're I'm Heine. Good. I'm good. Um, yeah, so I get pet peeved when all I see is ads. And then I started thinking, how does this affect us in the church world? How, how many people in the church world feel like, um, be it Sunday services or our social media or our life, is filled with ads of here goes what I want you to I'm going to say purchase I don't mean purchase here's what I want you to do for the church rather than just I want relationship with you mm, yeah you know what I mean yeah yeah I can see that I could totally see that with some of the things that we even do yeah like hey sign up for this sign up for this sign up right. for this but yet have no depth to the relationship which is what I want from social media I just want to see people's posts and see what's going on in people's lives right who i'm friends with now i can't even find them because i'm so overrun with ads and how many people feel that same way about the church world 
I would say 50. I would say but probably 75%. Yeah, I don't know if there's an if I have a number, but I definitely think people think about that without realizing that's what That's a thing, thinking. yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, no, here's another. Like, we, I used to call it, um, my dad used to call it taxing the church. And he, he would say, you know, when somebody would sell, you know, cookies or whatever, no, we don't want to tax the church. We don't want to tax our church people, meaning go out there in the world and sell the cookies. But let's not, you know, these people are the ones that are in everything, doing everything. Let's mm-hmm. not let's not make it, you know. So, anyway, stuff like, um, you know, announcements, I think we're, we try to be really thoughtful, like even in, in announcement time in the service, we try to be really thoughtful of what is beneficial to you in this moment to come be a part of it so that you know what's happening in our church. And I surely hope they don't feel like um, ads that, that are popping up on people's right. phones, you know? Mm-hmm. Something I, I That's something thought I think about. about. Yeah. Even inside of small groups, I know we do announcements inside of small mm-hmm. groups and maybe just helping those people understand, hey, listen, these are... These are not um, ads. These are this 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 cannot take the place of relational interaction. Right. Like it can be shared, I think, but you have to share like more the value and the purpose of it being said Absolutely. rather than just boop, here boop, you boop. go. Right. I mean, we even talked about this a little bit this morning about like you know, what's your title? No, what you do and who you are, and a title is different. Like inside small groups, you know, I'll just use that example. Like, hey, these are the things that we have going on, so that you can be a part of them. So that you can have opportunity to connect and to grow or heal or whatever the case may be. Instead of, oh, come be there. Here, you have to be here. And here's the day and time. But add the purpose behind it. But hopefully, I'm sure there's people that feel that way. But hopefully, it's we do a good job of protecting that and having the right care attached to it. Mm-hmm. I think adding the purpose to anything is extremely beneficial. I think it's the reason why I am very driven is because when I do things, there's purpose behind it. Why am I doing this? Why am I drinking this bottle of water? Not because I'm thirsty, but because I know my body needs water. You know, I'm, yeah. I want to, there, there needs to be a purpose behind everything. And so I don't know that we do that very well inside of the church world, but hopefully we can attack it and do it better in the future. Yeah. So what are you shaking for over there? Got to pee? I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> And I keep looking at my, like, how much longer until he's done. <laughs> timer. Your right. timer should be going off soon, right? Um, yeah. yeah. I, 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 both of you help with Marriage 101. Yes. So we'll, we'll end with one quick piece of marital advice for people watching. I love, oh I love this stuff because um, you get to hear a different perspective. One piece of, it doesn't have to be marital advice, one piece of relational advice that you can give to somebody watching. Go ahead. You have something? Um. Be your spouse's biggest cheerleader. Yeah. Nobody else needs to be that. You need to be their biggest cheerleader. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I feel oh, like you're ready for the opera or something. All right, how about now. you, Rachel? Um, first thing that popped in my mind, um, I'm actually stealing from someone who shared at a marriage conference we had here, um, but it really stuck with me. I've tried to apply it to my own life. Um, is God pours so much grace on us in relationships? So we shouldn't teaspoon it out. I think the example was God pours gallons of grace on us. Um, but so many times in relationships, let's just say spouse specifically, we teaspoon it back to them. Mm. Um, so we really should just be pouring so much more right. back into our relationships and into our spouse instead of, even if it's not on purpose, but sometimes like, thank you God for your grace and for everything. And here's a little bit. I'm not going to forgive you or move on from this moment. So so this volume is going to be different. So hopefully it's not as good. I, I love that. I love that. Cheer them on. Show them grace. Heap grace on them. I, I love those concepts because guys specifically will hear that and they will say, I don't get cheered on from my spouse mm-hmm. and I don't receive grace. Unfortunately, y'all know this because we deal with this every time we do Marriage 21. Unfortunately, women many times aren't giving those things that you are specifically saying to. Right, right. Um, Women are great about so many other things, but these two specific areas are things that they're not really great at. True. Um, And so, so yeah, ladies, listen, listen to them and keep some grace on them and be a big cheerleader for them. All right, we're going to stop. Let Maddie go to the bathroom. So (laughs) love you guys. God bless you. Thanks for spending some time with us. Bye. Peace out. Bye.